Imagine a star so massive, so violent, it erupts in a blast that outshines an entire galaxy, visible from Earth 7,500 light years away. In the 1840s, it blinded astronomers, and now, it's gearing up for another cosmic explosion. This is the supernova that blinded the galaxy, and it's coming back. A story of stellar fury that'll ignite your mind. Meet Eta Carinae, the star that rewrote astronomy and honestly it's not finished yet. Join me for a journey to the edge of the universe. Before we dive into this stellar saga, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Because this cosmic show is about to blast your expectations. Let's launch. It's the 1840s and a star in the Carina constellation Eta Carina goes rogue. Over a decade it brightens becoming one of the sky's brightest objects, outshining Sirius. By 1843 it's so intense sailors navigate by it. This great eruption wasn't a full supernova, it was a near miss, spewing 10% of its mass into space, forming the homunculus nebula. Eta Carinae, 100 times the sun's mass, didn't just explode, it raged. It's 7,500 light years away, yet it dazzled Earth. Astronomers were stunned. Nothing like this had been seen. They called it a supernova imposter. But it hinted at something bigger, a real supernova looming. This star wasn't just a light, it was a beacon. Sailors found their way, scientists found wonder. It's the kind of discovery that sparks dreams, connecting us to the cosmos in a way that feels alive. A 2018 monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society study revealed Eta Carinae's eruption released energy equal to 10 million suns in seconds. It didn't die, it survived making it a rare zombie star. Eta Carinae is a beast a binary system likely two stars with the primary 90 to 120 solar masses. It burns so hot five million times the sun's brightness, it's unstable. Its core fuses hydrogen to helium, then heavier elements, pushing it toward collapse. The 1840s eruption, a pressure valve, not the final boom. Here's the wild part, massive stars like Eta Carinae live fast, die young, maybe 3 million years versus our sun's 10 billion. Its companion star orbiting every five and a half years stirs the pot, triggering outbursts. When it goes full supernova, it'll outshine the Milky Way for weeks. A 2019 Nature Astronomy study found Eta Carinae's stellar winds collide at 6.7 million miles per hour, creating X-rays hotter than the sun's core. These winds sculpt the homunculus nebula like a cosmic artist. This star's fury isn't just physics. It's a reminder of our place in the universe. It's humbling, thrilling, like staring into eternity. It makes you feel small, yet part of something vast. But what did the great eruption do to Earth? Its impact was cosmic and unexpected. When Eta Carinae erupted, its light took 7,500 years to reach us a snapshot of an event from 5500 BCE. In the 1840s, it peaked at magnitude minus 0.8, visible even in daylight in the Southern Hemisphere. Observatories in Australia, South Africa and South America scrambled to record it. This wasn't just a pretty light, it challenged astronomy's rules. Stars weren't supposed to flare like that and survive. John Herschel, a top astronomer, called it the most astonishing object in the heavens. 
It forced scientists to rethink stellar evolution. A 2017 astrophysical journal analysis showed Eta Carinae's eruption released heavy elements nitrogen iron into space seeding future stars. It's a cosmic factory birthing the building blocks of planets, maybe even life. This star brought people together, farmers, scientists, dreamers gazing at the same sky. It's a shared awe, a moment of connection across time that makes you feel part of the universe's story. But Ita Karina is not done. Its next act could shake the galaxy. Let's find out when. Eta Carinae A's 1840s eruption was, well, kind of like a dress rehearsal. Astronomers say it's on the brink of a true supernova, when its core finally collapses, unleashing a blast that's, get this, 100 times brighter than the great eruption. It could happen tomorrow or in a thousand years or even 10,000. Nobody really knows for sure. When it goes, it'll be visible all over the globe, maybe even during the day, and it could last for weeks. It'll totally outshine Venus, basically rewriting what we know about the night sky. But hey, don't worry, it's way too far. Eta Carina is not the only star with a temper. Bethel juice in Orion dim back in 2019 sparking all sorts of supernova buzz. It's about 600 light years away so it's actually closer but less massive. Supernova 1987A in the Magellanic Cloud was the brightest since 1604 and it really taught us a lot about how stars die. Betelgeuse could blow in 100,000 years, or honestly tomorrow. 1987A gave us neutrino data proving those core collapse theories we've been working on. These explosions aren't just pretty to look at, they actually forge gold carbon, you know, the stuff we're made of. Stars like Ita Carina are well our cosmic ancestors. A 2019 science study found that 1987A's neutrinos arrived three hours before its light, confirming they travel nearly at light speed. It's the first direct proof of how supernovas signal their own doom. These stars don't just die, they create. Their explosions seeded Earth's elements, our bodies, our world, it's a story of loss and birth that honestly makes you feel connected to the stars. So, how do we study Eta Carini today? The tech catching its secrets is honestly mind-blowing. Today we're watching Eta Carini like never before. Hubble, Chandra and JWS catch its every pulse. ALMA maps its nebulous molecules while X-ray telescopes track its violent winds. We're piecing together when it might blow, and what it will leave behind. A 2023 astrophysical journal letters study used JWST to find argon and sulfur in the homunculus nebula, signs of advanced fusion. Eta Carinae's core is cooking heavier elements, a ticking clock to collapse. We're closer than ever to predicting its end. A 2021 monthly notices paper revealed Eta Carinae's companion star's orbit is eccentric, triggering outbursts every five and a half years. The next peak in 2025 could hint at its supernova timeline. This isn't just data, it's a quest. Scientists, students, dreamers, all chasing Eta Carina's secrets. It's the kind of passion that inspires us to keep looking up. But what if it blows soon? The stakes for humanity are cosmic and honestly pretty urgent. But Eta Carina blows, it'll be more than just a light show. It will spark science, art, even philosophy. Will it leave a neutron star or maybe a black hole? 
Will it inspire new telescopes, new questions? And for us, it will remind us how fragile, how fleeting our place in the cosmos really is. A 2024 Nature Reviews physics paper calls Supernova Cultural Catalysts. 1987, a boosted astronomy funding. Ita Carino's blast could totally do the same, but it's also a wake-up call with stardust. And stars like this made us. We need to protect our planet and honestly our curiosity. A 2022 publications of the Astronomical Society of the Pacific study found public interest in supernovae spikes telescope sales by 20% after an event. Eta Carinae's explosion could ignite a whole new generation of stargazers. This star story isn't just science, it's us. It's about chasing wonder, surviving as a species, dreaming even bigger. Eta Carinae's light will unite as a cosmic call to keep exploring together. That's the supernova that blinded the galaxy, and it's coming back. It's a tale of cosmic fury, human wonder, and a star that just won't quit. Eta Carina's next blast will light up our skies and, yeah, our hearts. What's the wildest space fact you know? Drop it in the comments. If this sparked your curiosity, smash that like button, share with your crew, and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. Next time we're diving into the black hole that swallows time. Keep looking up. The cosmos. Unstoppable.